Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to check for mixed grouping of characters. Sometimes we want to check for character for groups of characters using a regular expression and to achieve this that we use parentheses. If you want to find either penguin or pumpkin in a string, you can use the following regular expression, P, capital P and inside ingw and umk in and then it ends with IN. And so this would return true for p both penguin and pumpkin because it's got this in the middle. It's it's the p capital P with this in the middle and then the N or it's capital P with umkin in the end, and then IN at the end. To check whether the desired string groups are in the test string by using the test method. Okay, so they want us to actually write the test me method here. So we here they set, set a variable equal to a string, and then they set a variable equal to a regu regular expression. And then we go, the uh, we do the regular expression, and we're testing the string for the uh, pumpkin. And this would return true. So we want to fix the regular expression so that it checks the name of Franklin Roosevelt or Eleanor Roosevelt in a case-sensitive manner, and it should make concessions for middle names. Then fix the code so that the regular expression that you have created is checked against my string, and, and either true or false is returned depending on whether the regular expression matches. Okay, so the first thing we can do is just set it up. Um, we can console.log the result currently the result is going to be equal to false which is not going to be helpful for us at all so we want to set it to be equal so that the um, regular expression uh, we're going to test to that against the string right okay so now does Eleanor Roosevelt contain false no it doesn't but Eleanor it should have Eleanor somewhere in there we'll do a positive look ahead E L E a N O R. Let's get rid of the positive look ahead. Okay, so now we see that we're we're getting our test correct, but obviously um, our regular expression needs to be updated. Um, and so what we wanted to do is end in Roosevelt. So um, we know we want Roosevelt here, and we want to make it global. Uh, we might not need to make it global. I'm not sure. But anyways, with Roosevelt, it's coming out true now. But it's going to as long as there's Eleanor, as long as there's Roosevelt in there, we want to make sure it says Franklin Roosevelt or Eleanor Roosevelt in a case-sensitive manner, and it should make concessions for middle names. Okay, well, to start off, we can add a situation here where it's either Eleanor or Franklin, and then we want a space in here as well. So we're still passing true. This is great. Now, if we run the test, I don't think that this will pass all of them, right? Because it should return true for Franklin D. Roosevelt. What if we were to go Franklin D. like that? That might pass the tests, but what about with Eleanor's um, example? If it was Eleanor, whatever Eleanor's middle initial was, that would work. Um, I mean, we should have Franklin passing in here as well, in my opinion. Um, because then you can either do Franklin D. or Eleanor, Eleanor, Eleanor's middle initial I don't know what that would be um, so yeah I think that this is a way we could do it or we could say um, we could also have a have a uh, an idea like a, a period in here and then it could be we could set this equal to whether or not it has a space or a um, a space D period space and this would actually pass the tests better, and it would pass for both Franklin. We could get rid of the Franklin D here and uh, just put it like this. So then we can run the tests, and this passes as well. So we're adding, a, say there's a space and a D in here. We'll match true for both of that, or if it's just a space. And um, <clears throat> we could do another one with Eleanor. Say Eleanor's middle initial was like P. Um, we could add that in there, and then this would also pass, whatever Eleanor uh, Roosevelt's middle initial was. And so, yeah, this is just kind of how they think about this. You're using, if, uh, using the parentheses to sort of get these, um, I would say, conditional um, such, uh, questions. Does it have this or this followed by Roosevelt? And then if it has this or this followed by a space or a space and then an initial and then a space. So that's how this works. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one. We'll see you in the next lesson.